In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Lightroom presets into the Lightroom desktop app, both classic and the regular CC version, as well as the Lightroom mobile app if you don't have a desktop computer. Just skip ahead to the timestamps, which I've included below, to the app you're looking to install. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. So from the library page or module, go to the develop module. On the left, you'll see your presets panel. You might have to drop it down to see if you have any presets installed already or if there are the ones that are already installed when you load Lightroom. Click the plus drop down, click import presets. And then if you're downloading any of ours from Video School, click the desktop folder. It will have all of the XMP files. Select all of those files and click import. They will import into a folder which we will see here. And now we have all of these presets. To use them, you just open up a photo in the develop module and then hover over to get a preview of what it looks like. And then when you find one that you like, click on it and you will see that the preset has automatically applied different settings. Sometimes depending on the photo, you'll need to make some adjustments like exposure or contrast adjustments, things like that to make it look good for your photo. And the beauty of these presets is that it's a non-destructive way to edit. So you could always go back, reset things, you can adjust any specific setting. You'll notice that some of these presets in this pack are italicized and that's when there's an option. Usually it's a color profile that we might have selected when creating the preset that will work for a raw photo, but it's not a setting that works for a JPEG compressed photo. That's totally fine though. These presets will still work and they will still look fairly similar to what it would look like on a raw photo, but that's why some of these are italicized and for any other presets that you download. You can rename these groups or rename the individual presets if you want just by right clicking the group or the preset itself and choosing rename. All right, that's how you download, install, and use presets in Lightroom Classic. Cheers. Here's how to install and use presets in Adobe Lightroom. This is the cloud-based app on my desktop. So from here, you go to the Edit tab click on presets, click on the drop down menu right here, the three dots and choose import presets. Now, if you've downloaded one of our video school preset packs, you should unzip that pack. You'll see two folders in it, one for desktop and one for mobile. Still use the desktop option if you're using Adobe Lightroom. Select all of the files, these are XMP files and click import. Once they've imported, you will now have this new pack. You can click this drop down to see all of them. And then you can hover over the presets to see what they look like. Click on one of them and you can see that they've adjusted some of the settings as we've created these presets. Now, depending on your photo, you might need to make some adjustments. Typically things like exposure, your overall exposure might be the one that you want to adjust, but we've tried to make these work for fairly any photo that is well exposed. That being said, this is a non-destructive way of editing, which is great because you can always undo this. You can always adjust individual settings until you get your like it to your liking. You could also re right click the group or any of the presets to rename them in case there's ones that you really like and you wanna give a special name to or things like that. The other cool thing about importing presets via the Lightroom app on your desktop is if you use the mobile version and it's tied to your same Adobe account, these presets are automatically going to load in your Adobe Lightroom app on your mobile device once it syncs. So this is the quickest and easiest way to do that. We'll have another video if you don't use the Adobe Lightroom desktop app and you want to download and install presets on your phone, but it is quite a bit more work than just this. Here's how you install presets on the Lightroom mobile app. So here I have a photo opened on the Lightroom mobile app. Under presets, I have this Video School flat map pack automatically applied. So I can just click on any of these presets and it will automatically apply. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and I'm going to actually delete this pack from Lightroom Mobile. And then I'm going to show you how to manually create presets if you don't use the desktop app. So now you can see I've deleted the that folder. So the way it works in Lightroom, the mobile app is a little bit different. You can't just at this time install XML files as presets. The process is actually creating a preset from another photo. So what we've done is created photos that have all of the settings applied that we'll copy them from and create the presets. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the folder. You can do this on your phone. If you have a desktop, you can download the folder, unzip it, and then send the files to your phone. However you do it, you need this mobile folder of files on your phone. If you download the zip file, typically it's just clicking that zip file and your phone will be able to unzip it. You'll see these two folders and then just know that you'll be using the mobile photo. Back in Lightroom, the best way to do this is to stay organized. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create a new album. So create new album, we'll call this, for now we'll just call it VS Flat Matte. Click OK. Now click on that folder. We're going to add photos to it now. So click this bottom button in the bottom right to add photos. We're going to choose from files. And then on your files, you're going to find that mobile folder. Open that up. And to select all of these files, click the three dots in the top. Click the select button. And then go ahead and select all of the files. Each of our packs contains about 10 presets. Then click open. These will populate into your album that we just created. And you can see a preview of what these photos or presets will look like. Now, one thing I notice is that the order of these photos is not always correct in terms of the order that we've named our presets. So to view them in order, it's very helpful to click the top three buttons in the top right, click sort by file name, and then the view options, if you don't have photo info on already, and show overlays, click show overlays and make sure the photo info is highlighted. Now they are in the order of the file name and the way that we've created them which we try to order them in a more logical sense, like all the black and white presets for this pack, for example, are at the end. So the next step is to go individually, open the photo, so select the first photo, for example. What we're going to do is basically create a preset from this photo. So click the three buttons in the top again, click Create Preset, under user presets, we're going to create a new preset group. Click create new preset group. We'll call this VS flat mat or whatever you want to call it. Click the check mark. So that's going to be a, we're going to put these under a group now and then just create a name for it. You can name it whatever you want. You can follow our naming conventions flat mat one and then click the check mark. All right, so now let's go back and find a different photo from our library to practice this on. You would have to repeat this for all of the photos in that folder, but now let's just open up another photo. Here's a photo of my kids. We can go to the presets button down here, and now we have this VS flat mat album or folder of presets that we've created. Click on that, and we have flat mat one. Here's an example of where we would have to adjust the exposure of this preset. So click the check mark. And now because this is non-destructive editing, we can go in here and we can edit any of these other settings. So that's how you install and use presets using the Lightroom mobile app. Like I said in the beginning, it's much easier to do this using the Lightroom app on a desktop, but at least there is an option. So just a reminder, you'd have to go through each photo again. So go back to our albums. We're going to go to VS Flat Mat, open up the second one. And from there, do the same thing. Three dots, cr choose Create Preset. 
And then from there, you'll see under preset group, now we have the VS flat mat group that we could add this under. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed the presets that we share with you. Cheers.